Hi Rodney, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne. I've got a t-shirt here. Um, this is a new thing. Uh, that can be applied many ways these days. Uh, this is uh, for people who are tuning in. This is a personal prophecy and you can request a personal prophecy from going to the description tag down below this video and uh, and requesting it. The music here is uh, some of the music that was recorded uh, by someone I met in a mental ward a few weeks ago where I was getting my medication adjusted. And so uh, I hope you enjoy the music. It's not copyrighted yet, so uh, I can use it. Uh, and I can even put the link in sound player where you can listen to it. Um, for yourself. Um, okay, so uh, Tony gave me some good feedback on a prophecy I did for him today, and it was really beautiful uh, feedback. It really touched my heart. I'm going to turn that music off because it's uh, distracting. Uh, thanks, Tony. I'm speaking to the future. Tony speaking to me, saying that music is pretty decent distracting i'd really like to hear you yourself i hope me he turns it off and i can hear into the future because i've had conversations in the future with people uh so tony um this is just a reward uh, for giving me such good feedback and uh and i hope that it really blesses you because uh you said in your feedback i did some really specific uh words it takes the edge of, off my worry because I always worry about that. Uh, I guess you always want to be right. And uh, I did notice actually in your feedback that you said there was some um, parts where Jesus said he really loved you. Um, I think that's one of the most important things people need to hear that Jesus really loves them and accepts them for who they are. So when Jesus wants to lead me through his Holy Spirit to say that for two minutes out of a 10 minute word, I'll let him do that because we all need to know that we're loved. Um, I see uh, two pictures. I see like a person being like Tarzan, but not um, going on vine swinging through the air, just going from, um, tree to tree to tree, jumping on branches and jumping from branch to branch. I also see a man jumping off a trapeze and uh, uh, jumping onto one of the side things and then uh, doing tricks on a trapeze. And both the images, you'd have to be really fit and you'd have to have strong biceps uh, to do that. And uh, I sense that, uh, the Lord is uh, going to use um, trials and tests and struggles in your life to uh, build uh, agility, uh, the word I was given by the Holy Spirit. I guess that's the right word. Um, so I, I imagine some of those tests and trials have already come, but they're going to persevere. And um, the sense that you're going to be uh, like, a, like a field nurse, like a field nurse on a battlefield, not the doctor, but someone running from bed to bed, stabilizing people and keeping people well in between doctor visits and um and i just actually seen like the field uh thing where they're bringing the wounded back on a on a um on an army uh you know field of battle and um a sense that the lord is building these strong arms in you uh, so that you can be this nurse that just sustains life in people and uh, 
So to further interpret that, I see that you've been built up uh, to uh, keep generals and fighters and people on the front lines in the Christian battles, um, keep their fluids up and keep their strength up and keep their food up and keep the medicine going in. So I sense if I was to take that image further, I'd say that the Lord is going to use you to be a teacher. I don't know if I already said that to you, but someone was saying that. Uh, I feel that um, you're going to be used to bring teaching that will equip the body of Christ and the army of the Lord to be in fighting ship shape, shape and not only to build them up and to train them and build them, but also to heal them when they've been hurt and injured. And um, so that was a good uh, skip through images and it was like a movie playing in my heart. The Lord told me to stay up tonight and it's a hard thing staying up because uh, for the last five nights I've slept normally. Um, and I sort of resisted, but he sent me to stay up and now doing this prophecy sort of uh, reminds me uh, that he wanted me anointed to do this. I see you also having a knife and doing surgery. So now we're moving on to the field doctor and, uh, and uh, I see you having qualifications as a nurse, but also have passed your uh, doctor's qualification, but just haven't been certified because you've got to spend a year in battle or you've got to spend a year with the surgeons. Um, but when the, when the doctors are stretched in this battle, you can take the knife and do surgeries yourself as a nurse. And so what I'm hearing is you're not so much just a teacher and evangelist and, and pastor uh, or all three of them, but you're apostolic but under the radar that you'll be apostolic, but uh, but uh, never named an apostle. And, uh, and, and I sense that not even many people with the anointing would be able to tell that you're apostolic. It's just you'll be able to do all the functions of the fivefold without ever being labelled an apostle. And that sounds uh, really exciting. <laughs> um, you, you sound like a really beautiful, it's one of the best feedbacks I've ever had in my life, uh, what you sent to me. And um, I sense uh, you've got a strong gift uh, in encouragement. Um, uh, you've, you've got um, a way with your money too, um, uh, that um, money is not your idol and money just flows through your hands and whether it's going on bills or whether it's going on blessing people, Money just flows through your hands. You don't hold on to it. You don't say, oh, this is mine. And uh, I sense that um, you have no, uh, no fear and no uh, desire for the Lord to bless you tenfold. You just keep on pouring out your money with money needed, whether it's bills, whether it's mortgages, whether it's blessing people. Money just is, is like meaningless to you. You just... You just use it and you just dispense it. Um, so um, I sense also that um, uh, you're becoming a strong tower during this panic. Uh, people uh, strangely asking you for the, the, your opinion. It's because you're like a safe place. You've got the glory of the Lord on you. And uh, uh, I, I tell you, if you bought 10 of these T-shirts, you'd notice the glory go up in your life. That's one of the things about these t-shirts is the Lord will increase the glory level on your life the more of these shirts you get. Um, so <laughs> I just put that in there. Uh, so um, I, sense that, uh, I sense that you're going to win some of the hardcore Satanists and witches and atheists and uh, hardcore pimps and drug lords. And uh, I, I see the Lord sending you like a, paratrooper, like a Navy SEAL, behind enemy lines. Uh, and uh, without the enemy even knowing you're, you're, in a, you're in a brothel or in a strip club and you're ministering to a stripper. 
and uh, or you're talking to one of the bouncers in the strip club and winning him to the Lord. Um, you, you've struggled with fear of man uh, for a while, but it's almost completely dropped off you now. And uh, you, you're entering into this uh, prophetic edge and uh, this real teacher's mantle. And, uh, you, you know, if you know the Lord and you know what hell's like, you, you know, you can't help but be an evangelist. So you sort of can teach, you can evangelize, you can pastor, you can prophetic. And uh, so you've got all the dimensions of this apostle. Um, it was really cool. I like going to this battlefield, uh, watching all those images. Uh, and uh, it was a really uh, cool uh, prophecy. Um, uh, so I hope that really blessed you. Thank you for blessing me. God bless.